Ah, Home Alone, everyone's favourite film about being trapped in a big building invaded by criminals at Christmas. Sorry Die Hard. Home Alone was the highest grossing movie of 1990 and has gone on to become a Christmas staple. And of course a movie this big was ripe for a tie-in game. But did you know there were five completely different versions of the Home Alone tie-in game and in this festive video we're going to compare each of them. Let's start with the Super Nintendo version. The game begins with the wet bandits parked outside, casually name dropping the movie's title. So here's Kevin and he looks pissed. I mean, wouldn't you if you were being home invaded on Christmas? Alright, so we're in the main corridor now and straight away we run into, um, the third wet bandit, uh, Al Capone. If you spray him enough of your water pistol, he gets a uh, stomach ache, I think. So the point of this version is to find all the McAllister family valuables and throw them down the laundry chute into the basement. And I tell you what, the McAllister family are loaded. Just look at this, there's a sack of cash in the toilet, an emerald ring in the laundry basket and a pizza slice in the bath for some reason. Oh no, it's Harry. Hey, come back here, kid. Ah, rats, he's climbed the table and there's no way I can get up there now. Your damn kid always one step ahead. Also, for some reason, watering Harry makes him have a cardiac arrest. Hmm, am I missing something? I don't remember the McAllister house having a bulletproof safe in the kitchen in the movie. Oh no, it's Marv. Ginger Marv. Oh, that's nice. The uh, little toys kill him. Come on, I want to go up the stairs, stupid two-dimensional house. My god, Kevin, how many pinball machines do you need? I mean, this entire house is like that house you build in Sims when you have the infinite money cheat on. Look, they have a room filled with just subwoofers. Damn it, where did I put that television? Ah, yes, it was in the bookshelf. I tell you what, Marv really is like the Terminator in this game. Look, I'm throwing everything I've got at this guy and he just keeps going. So the game is broken up into four four main sections and each ends with Kevin navigating the basement which is always filled with all sorts of creepy crawlies. Remember the spider from the movie? He's back to take revenge and now he's four foot tall. And I'm not too up to date on my Home Alone canon but I don't remember Kevin taking on a ghost. Okay moving on and staying with Nintendo we have the Game Boy version. This one is very similar to the Super Nintendo just stripped down which was quite common for Game Boy ports at the time. This one does start with some beautiful pixel art of the wet bandits. Oh, I'm gonna frame this on my wall. But apart from that, it's just more of Kevin running around this sprawling mansion and collecting valuables. Okay, next we have the NES version. Well, here we are. Oh, look at the way Kevin walks. This boy's got a groove in his step. <laughs> Oh no, it's a wet bandit, shit, 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 shit. Ah, damn it, he's doing the face, it's over. Let's try again, so what if I go this way? Nope, 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 nah, gah. So it turns out you're supposed to evade the bandits for 20 minutes while setting up traps for them. Okay, let's try it. So you set this trap, Harry then triggers it, and then implodes into himself. Oh, and you can also hide behind things. Well, at least the McAllister house is more of a house this time around and not an endless palace. Look, you can climb the tree house and then end up outside. Hey. Uh, uh, can I visit the old guy who definitely wasn't a serial killer? No? Oh well. Moving on, we have the MS-DOS version. This one is by far the most accurate to the movie. Most of the rooms and the overall house layout is just a copy from the film. In terms of gameplay, it's kind of similar to the NES version, but the execution is a bit different. This time you have about five minutes to run around the house collecting traps and setting them in the right place before the wet bandits enter. And having a working knowledge of the movie definitely helps in knowing where to place the traps. Just seems like a bit of a waste to have half the screen taken up by deep fried Marvin Harry. All right, I've got all the traps set. Do your worst, wet bandits. Ah, damn it. All right, let's move on to Sega. And first up, we have the Mega Drive slash Genesis version. Oh, I'm liking these tunes on the start screen. You can really moonwalk to this. Okay, let's start the game. What the f***? Why is Kevin on a sledge? What am I supposed to do? Oh, good lord, help me, this thing's out of control. Where am I going? Oh god, I'm so far from home. Let me back in. Let me back in. The web bandits have looted the mansion. The house is now flooded. Wait, 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 I wish I could do something about that, but I'm stuck here running over snowmen and collecting magnets. Oh, there they are. Stop, stop, give me back my stuff. So it turns out this version isn't isolated to the McAllister house. Kevin has to battle the web bandits across several houses houses in his neighborhood. Once inside the house, the game turns into a 2D platformer and you have to stop the bandits before their loot meter fills up and you do that by filling up their pain meter. The pain! 
And how do you fill up the pain meter? Well, by shooting them with an assortment of different weapons you MacGyver together from junk found around all these different homes. It's actually a pretty cool mechanic with some great impact animations. And what happens if you get caught by the bandits after inflicting all this pain on them? It's game over, right? No, nope, they just gently pick you up and hang you off the wall for a little while. Oh damn, Kevin, come on, get up. Kevin? Is, is he actually dead? Like when he actually died in my go? All right, and finally we have the Master System version. Okay, I'm in the house. It's a very colorful house. And here are the wet bandits. And Kevin, being a junior Olympic pole vaulter, can just jump over them. Oh, look, a dog. Is this another pet that needs rescuing? Here, doggy. Ah, shit, guess not. So this one is a bit of a hybrid between the Super Nintendo and the Mega Drive version. You go through different homes, picking up valuables and depositing them inside saves before the bandits can get at them. Yeah, it's pretty basic, but then again, what do you expect from a system with only two buttons? And so there we have it, every version of Home Alone the game. Okay, look, these are definitely not the greatest games ever made, but I applaud the developers for doing something slightly different with most of these versions. From Kevin vs. Ghosts to the Wet Bandits Torture Simulator. And each of these versions would also get a sequel for the second movie, but we'll have to cover that one next Christmas. In the meantime, I hope you enjoy the holidays and please let me know which of these versions is your favorite in the comments. And if you'd like to see more festive content from me, then please check out my second channel, AI Storytime, where I just did a video on Jingle All The Way, remade with AI-generated images. There's some real festive nightmare fuel there. As always, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell, and follow me on Twitter. See you next time.